Today we're introducing a new video series called Friday Fives where I share my favorite skincare and beauty products with you. It's all coming up next at Style at a Certain Age. <music> Hi ladies and welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time visiting, welcome. I'm so happy you stopped by. We film several videos every week. One is a style series on Sundays. Today we're introducing a new beauty and skincare uh, series. And then we also have Fashion Flash, which coordinates with my outfit of the day over on the blog. So uh, be sure to hit that subscription box so you won't miss any of the videos coming your way. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and of course my blog, styleataceartainage.com. So today, as I mentioned, I'm sharing my Friday Fives, which is an easy way just to incorporate some of the things that are on my radar screen and answer some of the questions that my readers email me asking what lip shade I'm wearing or what foundation I'm using, uh, even you know what perfume and things like that. So. Friday Fives will always focus on beauty and skincare, and today it's all about a very affordable luxury, lipstick. So kicking off this series, Friday Fives with lipstick, because honestly, as a young girl, I was fascinated with my mother and her attention to her lipstick. And she was a firm believer never to leave the house without applying at least one, uh, you know, one swipe on. And I just remember she always had a tube in her purse and in her bathroom and, and there was, they were just scattered throughout the house. And she would take the handheld mirror and she would apply it you know, quite meticulously and they actually, you know, would really, they didn't lip line their lips back then, but she was very meticulous about applying it. So it was just perfect. And then she'd blot it and, you know, she just really kind of had this, you know, her, her own way of tweaking her lipstick. So, and honestly, it was the first a cosmetic that I was able to use and it wasn't lipstick but it was a just a little tub of lip gloss that I think I got for my 13th birthday and I was just I was over the moon that I could finally use makeup. So I'm going to share my five favorite lip shades with you and also the five different brands that I go to time and again whether it's a drugstore brand all the way up to a luxury. But first I thought I'd share a few fun facts about lipstick that I had discovered along the way creating this video and we can go all the way back to the ancient Egyptians who were the first lipstick lovers and they favored shades like purple and black and they also used ingredients uh, from cochineal insects and they, they would ground that up and it would make a substance called carmine dye which is still used in our cosmetics today. The ancient Egyptians also used harmful ingredients like lead which causes disease or death and I was just even wondering, maybe that's where the phrase kiss of death comes from. Fast forward to 1884, where the French company Guerlain produced the first lipstick commercially. In 1923, James Bruce Mason Jr. was the first one to invent the swivel tube, which made it so easy for us to purchase the lipstick and apply it. In the 1920s and 1930s, the magazines encouraged women to wear stylish colors and we diligently scoured the pages to see what was on trend. I think we're still doing the same thing today. During World War II, sales of lipstick slowed down because cosmetics were rationed. But Winston Churchill believed that cosmetics and women wearing them improved morale. So guess what? Sales went back up. From affordable drugstore brands like Revlon or L'Oreal to the luxury brands Chanel or Dior, there's definitely a lipstick brand that fits within your budget. And another fun fact is during a recession, sales for lipstick actually go up because we still like to treat ourselves to those small luxuries that make us feel good. As a matter of fact, one of my favorite brands, MAC Lipsticks, sells one tube per second worldwide. Now that's a lot of lipstick. Max best selling red, Ruby Woo, sells four per minute. Here are two of my favorite quotes about lipstick. If you're sad, add some lipstick and attack Coco Chanel. Or my favorite from Elizabeth Taylor. Pour yourself a drink, add some lipstick, and pull yourself together. So now we're on to the Friday Fives, and first up is one of my favorite brands, and that's MAC. And typically when I travel, 
since I live in a small town, we don't have the big retailers. So when I travel, I just always pop into the big department stores or one of the standalone stores. So that's what I did on my recent trip to New York. And I came home with this. So this is called Nine Lives. And that's exactly what I'm wearing in the video. My second lipstick is by Charlotte Tillsbury, and I am becoming a big, big fan, along with millions of other women, of Pillow Talk. So this is a shade that goes with any and all skin tones, much like the NARS blush orgasm. And I am, uh, as I said, I'm becoming a big fan. I do think it goes on, it looks a little bit matte, so I kind of touch mine up with a lip gloss. That's what I do with a, with a lot of my uh, lipsticks. It's just one of my little tips that I have. My third lipstick again is MAC and again it came home after my trip to New York and this one is called Killing Me Softly. I love the names of lipstick. Uh, I think I want that job of coming up with all the names but Killing Me Softly just reminded me of the Roberta Flack song that I grew up with and this is a very deep shade of plum uh, or isn't it funny how when you look at it lipstick it, it kind of looks like it's deeper than it really is when it goes on. I was a little bit hesitant to use this one, but the associate insisted that I try it. It's very, very popular for fall. And I'm very happy that I did. It's a really lovely fall color. So my fourth Friday Five is from Tom Ford. And I just recently started using Tom Ford, maybe about a year or so ago. But I actually picked this one up on a, on a trip that Mr. Style and I took way back in January. We, we went to Naples, Florida. And then we stopped in, I believe it was Neiman's. And this is the shade that they recommended for me. It's kind of a pinky purpley. It really is lovely all year round. So I don't think it's really a spring, summer, or fall, winter. I think this is a 365 a year lipstick. And last but not least on my Friday Fives is Chanel. And I've been using Chanel for at least 20 years or so. Just really a big fan of the formula and just how it feels on my lips. This is a red, so this is a very deep red, and I tend to just wear this in the uh, winter months. So this is Le Fascinate, and really just one of my very, very favorites, uh, especially at Christmas time. So those are my Friday Fives. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy lipstick as much as I do. As I said, it's a very affordable luxury and I'm with my mom. I never leave the home without applying at least a little bit of lip gloss or just something to you know, perk my skin up a little bit. It just kind of you know adds instant life as well. Thanks so much for stopping by. I enjoyed having you watch the video and please follow me over on Facebook and Instagram. At Style at a Certain Age, of course, you can follow me on the blog, styleofacertainage.com. And don't forget to hit that subscription box before you leave so you don't miss any of the videos. And give me two thumbs up or one if you like this video. I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.